Hello again, everybody. It's Eric with Better Every Shave. Wanted to talk about a razor I've had for a few years that uh, I've never had great luck with and recently tried again and ended up having a couple good shaves with. So uh, that would be the Rockwell Model T. And this is an adjustable double edge razor. This is the first version. There is a version two or the T2. Uh, that's the one you can purchase now. And I think it's about $150 if I'm not mistaken. This one I got along with three others off of eBay. Someone was shutting down a barbershop slash shaving store. They were helping someone who owned the store. And so they had uh, two of these white chrome. And then they also had two of the gunmetal. And so I sold three of them and I kept this one uh, because I like the look of it. I kept it even though I was getting, wasn't getting good shaves. I was getting kind of uh, poor shaves. There's a couple of things going against this razor for me. It's it's big. It's way bigger than I normally like. Uh, it's it's not that it's that long necessarily. It is just about three and three quarters inches long. Uh, the handle is about three and a half inches long. It's heavy, uh, 125 grams, and the head itself is very large. And so it's a little sort of awkward to use, uh, in my opinion. Really not my favorite just from those, from the aesthetic perspective. Uh, although it is a very substantial razor, it is very well made. But to that point, apparently this was a crowdfunded razor and it took quite a while for them to deliver it. There were some issues with the doors uh, not closing properly, so... You can see here that the that mine, fortunately, the uh, the doors actually do meet up properly. But apparently, the issue was that in at least in some cases, these doors didn't meet up properly. So yeah, that was an issue. They fixed that. Let's take a look here. So they fixed that. This is the T2, the T bar that's in the middle where, that the razor blade actually sits on comes all the way to the top now. Apparently, that design change along with they raised the clamshell or strengthened the clamshell itself and raised up the uh, thrust plate and or made it a little thicker I guess so made some changes based on the feedback that they got and uh, so that apparently fixed those issues and now it's a much beloved razor the other problem I think was the price, uh, given that it was, this is $150 and usually in that price range, you're looking at a stainless razor and this is a, a still a mixed sort of alloy. Anyway, still very solidly built, a uh, very nice razor. Luckily I did give it another shot here recently. And like I said, I got some, some great shaves with it. I'm really happy about that. And that's why I keep razors. Even when I first get them, if I don't enjoy them, if I can't quite figure them out, I assume that as I get better, hence the, the name of the channel, right? Better Every Shave. I hopefully do get better. And over time, as I do improve, my technique gets better. And then the razors that I was previously having problems with uh, also become easier to use and, and I get better shaves with them. The other things I used for this shave, I have never tried a Taylor of Old Bond Street or Tobbs, as they're also known, uh, tobacco leaf shaving cream. So I've never tried any of their shaving creams. And I decided that the tobacco leaf would be a good place for me to, to start. I only used, I mean, not very much. I, I would say maybe a third of the container. And it made incredible amounts of lather, uh, as you can see, you know, building up the lather, lather on my face right now. And it just kept going and going. Uh, it ended up being enough lather for probably two shaves, honestly. And because it was the first time using it, I really wasn't... Um, didn't know how much to use, but I would say in future, if I get a full size tub of this, I would just literally dip, you know, the tips of the brush and, and probably do a face lather. Um, so yeah, really good stuff. And I do like the fragrance, even though it's a little more light and floral than, than I normally like. The other thing I used is, is a, a little bit of a surprise for me. This is a Yachi, uh, mocha brush. So the, the, uh, synthetic variety. And uh, it just, it's such a beautiful, soft knot. I mean, just so soft. Uh, still has decent backbone. And it's it's a little on the shorter side, so it's really good for face lather, but also for, for bowl lather as well. And uh, it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. There's a really nice chunkiness to it. 
fits in the hand. And if you don't know, the, the mocha comes from a very famous little coffee pot, and it's an Italian um, espresso pot that you can use on the stove. My wife's had one of these for years and uses it, and uh, it makes very nice uh, espresso coffee. But at that iconic shape is uh, is what you know was the inspiration for this really nice little brush. I think it was all of maybe around twenty dollars, something like that. So yeah, just just a really really fun brush and I find myself reaching for it more often than I would have expected. So the shave itself went really well. I went uh, three, two, one with the passes in terms of the setting on the razor. I used a Tatra Platinum, I think on maybe the second use. I had previously had a lot of issues with getting this up under the chin properly. I would just have problems on my neck right here where it just would would not quite fit in there the way I needed to. I'd end up getting a lot of sort of discomfort and razor burn. And this time, yeah, it just did not have that issue. I've had now three, four, four shaves with this razor, and um, all of them have been really nice. I'm very glad I kept it. Again, it goes back to as we change and adapt and try different things, and, you know, over as time goes on, we... Uh, well, at least <laughs> I'm using the Royal Wii, but I know from my case, at least uh, I've gotten better in, uh, in almost every respect. I can now go back and appreciate things that previously weren't, uh, were not enjoyable to me. Uh, so I think that's, that's kind of neat. That's one of the things that makes this hobby. So interesting to me is the, the idea that you actually can practice and improve and, and get better and, uh, and enjoy. Uh, using these really cool products. That's it for me. That's all I had for today. I appreciate you joining me. Oh, I did want to say also, I, I have a follow-up video to this where I talk about taking this apart, then you can clean it and, you know, whatever you need to do, lubricate it. Uh, anyway, I have a, a companion video that kind of shows going through that, that I'll have out. I'd like to thank you for joining me. I appreciate everybody taking their time to uh, stop by and check out one of my videos and... I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you again very soon. All right. Bye-bye.